Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. Wilderness Therapy, Therapeutic Boarding Schools, and Behavior Modification Facilities. Do they play by the rules? We're joined on the star line today by two powerful women on a mission to reform the troubled teen industry. They've come together for the podcast, Trapped in Treatment. We welcome Caroline Cole and Rebecca Mellinger. Thanks for having us. Friends, let's go beyond the mic. Caroline, you're living through complex PTSD from your time in a facility during your teens. You advocate for a world without abuse. Does each story you cover in Trapped in Treatment open wounds for you or are they part of your healing? This season is extremely personal to me. So I was sent to a facility that was owned by an organization called the Worldwide Association of Specialty Schools and Programs. And this company, for-profit company, would end up having facilities all across the world, as far as Samoa, the Czech Republic, Mexico. And along the way, they, I mean, essentially, they just left a trail of really horrific allegations of abuse, including things like uh, keeping kids in dog cages, um, bizarre tree. I mean, really, this stuff is just anyone would look at this and think this is abusive. This this is just actually um, criminal. And so we document in one of our episodes this season my own personal experience and also my mom's experience from her perspective. And so I'm excited for everyone to be able to hear not only survivor accounts across many of these different facilities, but also how WASP kind of got away with it. They were able to dodge many of these lawsuits, um, just narrowly making out, making, um, excuse me, making it out. Uh, and, and so we just go into how it all happened. It hurts my heart so much to hear this. Rebecca, you want to drive social change. What's the one thing that challenged you the most in doing this? I think what's the most challenging is that most people don't know about what's happening in these facilities. And so when we go to promote change in different states um, or when we're speaking to, you know, someone of power that can that can have a hand in, in fixing this and making sure that kids aren't abused in the name of treatment is that we're really starting from the beginning. We're educating folks on what is the troubled teen industry and what happens in these programs. I think that, you know, this industry has done a really great marketing job of saying that they can treat various behaviors and, and mental health issues that any child has. But what's actually happening is that they're using harsh discipline methods. And these facilities have been the subject of numerous allegations and lawsuits related to child abuse, neglect, and death. And so, you know, you'd be asking, how is this all legal? And that is what we're hoping to uncover in the podcast, as well as through educational awareness campaigns and our work at the state and federal a level to make sure that youth are safe when they're placed in these programs. Friends, how can people help you help with solutions with the troubled teen industry? Well, number one, definitely go listen to season two of Trapped in Treatment because this is going to give you a really inside look as to how this industry came to be and how it still is affecting this landscape today. Uh, the second thing that I'm going to ask you to do is go to our website, stopinstitutionalchildabuse.com. And what you will find there is a place to sign up, to sign up for alerts. This is where we put out all of our action alerts, give um, and give any updates of projects that we're working on. This subject is so heavy. So let's kind of lighten it up with the Rocky Nade. It's eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. There is no pressure. Caroline, Rebecca, since we have two guests, we'll alternate questions. Caroline, growing up, did you watch The Simple Life with Paris Hilton? Of course. <laughs> Duh, absolutely. <laughs> Rebecca, what's your favorite episode? Oh my gosh. Um, I mean, what is Walmart? A wall? <laughs> Caroline, what's the best thing about Rebecca? Rebecca is the most determined, organized person that I know. She, I'm like, how do you do it? She has got energy for days and she will just sit down and, and absolutely knock stuff out. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. I need to mentally prepare before I've got that kind of energy level, but she just executes, man. She's, she's a monster. Rebecca, what's the best thing about Caroline? Caroline leads with her heart and with her incredible brain power in everything that she does. And she is the most powerful advocate I have ever seen. Caroline, what's the best place to relax in Oklahoma City? 
my house <laughs> on the couch. <laughs> you don't go out? No, I love to go out. I go um, mostly to the Jones Assembly. Uh, there's a place called Juniors. If you know, you know, love Juniors. Um, so there's a lot of great places. Oklahoma's really, really grown through the years. Rebecca, what's your favorite guilty pleasure? My favorite guilty pleasure? That is such a hard one. Honestly, maybe like going out for ice cream at night. I mean, that's so simple and silly, but I have to say it, it is a guilty pleasure of mine. Caroline, what was your best moment at South by Southwest? Oh my gosh. Um, my best moment at South by Southwest. Um, so I was first off speaking on a panel that was incredible. Um, and, and just being able to witness kind of the hubbub of it all, um, South by Southwest, you don't realize how big it is until you get there. So I think anyone's first year, you kind of realize like, oh, yikes, I needed to needed to maybe plan out some of these stops a little bit better. Um, but it, it was it was really a remarkable experience. Rebecca, favorite moment from the USC Medical Clown Research Program? seeing the smiles on those kids faces so you know prior to my role as head of impact at paris hilton's media company i was running a nonprofit in medical clowning which is basically when you you know take actors and you train them in the art of therapeutic laughter so that you can go in and help patients heal in the hospital and and give them a sense sense of um kind of advocacy and empowerment for them to lead the session you know with the clowns however they want because you know you're post and prodded in the hospital and you don't have that agency. So it really is such a beautiful thing seeing these kids um, come out of their shell and, and smile for the first time that day. So, you know, if that does interest you, there is a there is a USC medical clowning program and I could not recommend them enough. Rebecca, from someone who's raised money for my local children's hospital, I thank you for the work that you do. Oh. It's time for one big question with Caroline Cole and Rebecca Mellinger be on the mic. Which episode of Trapped in Treatment touched you the most this season Ooh, um i i i'm gonna be a little bit selfish here but actually the season with my mom so my mom speaks out and shares her story for the first time and i actually was able to sit in on her interview and there were so many things that she said that i didn't know i needed to hear and i, I want to share one of those things um she said that what she didn't realize until many, many years later is that she herself had unresolved trauma that she needed to deal with. And that affected the decisions that she made for me when I was a child. I mean, talk about like, you know, all the therapy bills I've acquired over my lifetime just were wiped away in that one sentence. And it, and it, it really was remarkable. So her story is incredible. And it's, it's important, I think, to really spotlight um, what this is like for parents as well. And for me, you know, we really dive into the cult practices that these facilities had and how that impacted their kids. So I'd have to say that the episode when we dive into, you know, the seminars, which is halfway through our season, is really impactful because of the psychological impacts that it had on these kids. Um, and also, you know, at the very, very end of the season, we get to did these survivors receive justice for the child abuse, for the neglect, for the racketeering and for the fraud that was experienced by all of these families? And so you're going to have to listen to find out the answer to that. But um, it is really, really shocking. Trapped in Treatment, the powerful podcast on the troubled teen industry. Caroline Cole, Rebecca Mellinger. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you for helping kids, too. Thank you, Sean. And that, my friends, is a Beyond the Make Shortcut. If you're enjoying these conversations, please check out another Beyond the Mic episode to find more actors, artists, and people you need to know. We'd also appreciate a like and subscribe on the Good Pods app.